Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. In this video, we want to add an image to our launch screen as well as the loading view controller. All right, so uh, let's get started by opening up our browser. So let's uh, open up uh, your browser. I'm on my Chrome browser right now and let's navigate to flaticon.com. Okay, so flaticon.com is a place where you can download uh, vector images. So as you can see, uh, these images are free uh, and there is some premium ones as well, but uh, we will be using the free uh, images this time. Okay, so let's do a search for hot air balloon under the search. Okay, and then uh, notice that uh, in the results, there are images that are black and white. So these are good if you want to use them as icons, for instance, like your tab bar icon, but we're gonna select one that is multicolored, okay? So let's do a filter over here. So let's come over here and then we want to select multicolor, okay? So once uh, this uh, updates, let's scroll down. I want to select a particular icon over here and I want to select this one, okay? So of course you can choose to select any one you like, but to, to be consistent with the tutorial, it might be good to select the same one as I do. and then make the changes subsequently all right so i'll like you to select this one over here if you can't really see let me see if i can just make this a bit bigger we want to select the one that has the heart shape all right and uh, yeah okay so let's select this one and then uh, we want to download this image so of course there are several ways you can do that but we want to download the png one so maybe just click on this we can just leave this as 512 pixels it doesn't really matter so let's click on this and then it says you must attribute the author all right so guys this is just to let you know that this image is from freepick.com okay so let's click on this and this will download into our downloads folder okay so i'm going to just open my download folder right now in the finder and then I'm going to rename this as I am. Okay, so this is a short form for image. This is uh, the way I like to prefix my files. I am a uh, balloon. Okay, so let's do balloon. Okay, so what I want to do is that I want to uh, import this into Xcode. So let me just come back to Xcode over here and I'll allow you to come over to this assets folder. So let's click on this and notice that this panel over here will show all the images or, or, or rather all the resources that you you can uh, import into this project so currently it's blank right now so let me just open my final window again and i'm going to drag this into this space over here all right so just do this with me okay so now that we are done with this um, we want to come to our launch screen okay so you see over here launch screen dot storyboard let's click on this and then uh, what we want to do is to add in an image view. So click on this plus button to open the library. And then let's filter this by image. So let's drag in the image view over here. And I want to align it somewhere in the middle. Okay, uh, we'll add some constraints to it. So click on this uh, constraint button over here and uh, uncheck this constraint to margin. And let's uh, for the width and height, we want this to be 240. Okay, when you're done, let's click on the add to constraint button and then we want to align this uh, in the center of the container. All right, so let's click on this uh, button over here, align button, and then we want to select both horizontal and vertically, uh, vertical in container. Okay, so let's uh, add the two constraints. So if you are doing this correctly, you'll notice that there are no more red lines already. Okay, so what we want to do next is to come over to the property inspector, which is this icon here. And then under the image, uh, I want you to type I am, and then you should see that there is some... Uh, some pop there's a there's a panel that opens over here and you should see i am balloon over here all right so uh, once you select that your image should appear over here and then the next thing i want to do maybe is to just select this uh, content mode and just ensure that we are on aspect feed okay so i think by default it should show aspect feed but if for some reason your yours is under scale to feed or aspect field just remember to select aspect feed okay so what i'm going to do right now is to run the simulator okay so i'm going to hit the, the play button and then uh, we should be able to see this image that we have just added on the launch screen okay so the next thing we want to do is to also have this image on the loading view controller so let's come back to the main dot storyboard and we, uh, we want to do the same thing over here as well so i'm going to just uh, hit the plus button and bring in an image view just drag that in here again we want this to be uh, 240 uh, on both its width and height so let's just set that very quickly okay let's hit the add to constraints button and then what i'd like to do is to center this in the middle so what this means is that i want this um, uh, loading indicator to be below the image view okay so what i want to do right now is to just click on this uh, this a size inspector and then let me just remove these two constraints first okay so just click on this and just hit the delete 
delete button and then we can click on this uh, constraint over here and hit the delete button again and then i'd like to just shift this uh, somewhere to the bottom okay we don't have to be super exact we will fix this using the auto layout so now i want to bring the image view to the middle now and then uh, we have this uh, two constraints set already 240 240 on the width and height but we have not set the uh, alignment vertically and horizontally so let's do that right now so let's click on this button over here and then let's go with horizontally and vertically in container and let's click that add two constraints button okay so now we also want to bring in that image so just click on this uh, property inspector click on this uh, drop down icon and let's select i'm balloon and again ensure that under content mode it says uh, aspect view over here okay so now that we are done with this i want to click on this uh, indicator view and then add the constraints so let's come over here click on this and we want to uncheck this uh, constraints to margin and i like this to be 16 okay so we want to have a padding of 16 pixels okay and then let's hit on this add one constraint and then next i need to uh, align this horizontally in the container so let's click on this uh, uh, align button and then i want to select uh, horizontally in container okay so let's hit the add one constraint button okay so now it looks like there are no more uh, warnings over here no more auto layout uh, warnings which is good so now let's quickly run our simulator and what we should expect to see is that we should see the uh, the uh, during the launch screen we should see this image and then when the app transits to the loading view controller we should see again this image at its uh, uh, same position but we will see an indicator uh, uh, running this time okay so let me just quickly run to uh, illustrate what i mean okay so notice suddenly we have the indicator over here and then we transit to whatever screen that we want to go to all right guys i hope that uh, you find this lesson uh, useful all right i'll see you guys in the next one